Season 1, Episode 2 of The Simpsons is titled Bart the Genius. In this episode, Bart cheats on an intelligence test and is placed in a school for academically gifted students. Upon arriving, Bart quickly realizes that he is way out of place. In math class, the teacher has the following equation on the board. Y equals R to the third over three. She says to the class, and if you correctly determine the rate of change of this curve, I think that you will be pleasantly surprised. After a moment's thought, the students in the class get the joke and begin to laugh. Bart has no idea what is going on. So what's the joke? Why are the gifted students laughing? Let's talk about why this is funny. I'll begin the explanation of this joke by taking the equation y equals r to the third over 3 and rewriting it in an equivalent form. r to the third over 3 is the same thing as 1 third r to the third. Now the teacher has asked the students to determine the rate of change. An operation of calculus, the derivative, can be used to determine rates of change. Here, we'll take the derivative of y with respect to the other variable r. The notation for this is dy over dr. And again, this stands for the derivative of y with respect to r. When taking the derivative of y, I see that the first factor is 1 third. That's a constant coefficient. And when differentiating, if there is a constant coefficient, that remains unchanged in the derivative. The rest of the expression, r to the third, can be differentiated by using what is perhaps the most basic of the differentiation rules, the power rule. The power rule states that the derivative of r to the third power would involve taking that power of 3 on r, moving it to the front, multiplying it times r, and additionally reducing the power on r by 1. You take the power of 3 on r, move it to the front, and then decrease that power by 1. This derivative can be simplified somewhat. 1 third times 3 is 1, so the coefficient of the derivative is 1, but I'm not going to write the coefficient of 1. And r to the power of 3 minus 1 is r to the power of 2. So the derivative of y with respect to r is r squared. Although we have the derivative of y, r squared, this is not the punchline of the joke. When the teacher writes the answer on the board, she writes it in terms of dy, which would be read aloud the differential of y. In many applications, the differential of y can be used as an approximation of the change in y. Let's briefly talk about the definition of a differential. If y equals any function of x, then the differential of y, dy, what the teacher has written on the board, is the derivative of the function times dx. If the function is in terms of x, you'll include a factor of dx, which is the differential of x. In this problem, the second variable is r, but this definition can still be applied. We started with y equals r to the third over 3, and we found that that derivative was equal to r squared. So dy, the differential of y, is equal to that derivative, r squared, times the definition of the differential said that we'll multiply that by the differential of x. But here our second variable is r, so we'll multiply it by the differential of r. So dy equals r squared times dr. This is the differential of y, which again can be used as an approximation of the change in y. To finish this joke, I'm going to do a little bit of rewriting here. Instead of writing r to the second times dr, I'm going to rewrite r squared as r times r times dr. And then one more thing, since multiplication is commutative and I have three factors here, I'll take one of the factors of r and move it to the end. So instead of writing r times r times dr, I'll write r times dr times r. Or, more briefly, r dr r. And that's the joke. r dr r is almost a homophone for hearty har har, an expression of laughter. 
So when the students determined the rate of change of y, of y equals r cubed over 3, they found it to be hardy har har, funny. And that's the joke. If you have any questions or comments about this, feel free to add a comment below.